the 15 minute opening breakout strategy. We're gonna talk about how you can apply this very simple strategy to your day trading arsenal to get a better idea of where you should be long or short when the market opens up here on futures like NASDAQ, the ES, or even the SPY, QQ, or your favorite stocks like Apple or Meta. Let's dive into it. What's going on guys, Patrick here. Today I wanna to talk about a very simple day trading strategy for trading the open. You can trade this on pretty much any stock. You can trade it on futures, the ES, the NASDAQ, however you wanna do it. What we're looking for is the opening range 15 minute candle breakout or break down. We're looking to see what happens in that first 15 minutes? Are there key levels that are happening with the pre-market moves? Is there something going on to dictate a, the idea to either go long or short based on the first 15 minute candle? Let's pull up a chart here. This is the NASDAQ we're looking at. We got the pivot points. We got the Lux Algo indicator on there showing us you know, trend lines, things like that. So let's just kind of replay this and get an idea. This was Tuesday of last week. Now, how would we play this? This is the nine o'clock, 15 minute candle. We're looking for the 9.30, 15 minute candle till 9.45. Now we have our opening 15 minute candle range here. This 13 level, the 313, the low 264. So a pretty big range there on the NASDAQ this day. So we know that the high of that candle's there at the 312, the low is at 265. So basically at this point, what we're looking to do is we're looking to either go long, we're looking to go short when we break below the low, right? Because we know that there's this opening range, that first 15 minute candle, this second candle is opening up in the middle of this candle. So we're still inside. There is no trade yet. We have no trade here on this candle. There's no trade on that next 15 minute candle. Just waiting, right? We're just being patient because we already know that this first 15 minute candle gave us our range to either go long or to go short. This is our action candle right here. This 10 a.m. candle. Now every day is gonna be a little different. We're gonna have days where we're gonna get that 45 candle is gonna be the break to the downside to the upside. One thing that I wanna think about as well if we're looking at this setup is we wanna make sure, I would say that there's not numbers coming out at 10 o'clock because that first, because this candle right here, that 45 candle can be a little up and down crazy if there's our numbers coming out at 10 a.m. But we wanna kinda of wait to see what's going on when those numbers come out and then look for our trade plan. And like I said, we're looking for a break to the downside, so we're looking to primarily be looking for shorts. Remember, we're looking at the one minute chart, the five minute chart, three minute chart for our entries, but this is giving us an overall idea of the direction at open. We already know that we broke below this opening range, so we're looking for short opportunities on the one minute chart, and that right now is telling us to go short. We're looking to get short. I would say my stop on this trade, if I'm gonna, let's say I'm gonna short here at the 65s, my stops like the high of this candle. Now, one thing that I wanna focus on here is, yes, that's a little bit bigger than I would like. That's about a 10 point, 15 point move to the upside having to have my stop there. So I need to size into this core accordingly, right? I wanna size into this accordingly depending on my stop. If my stop is really tight, okay, well then we, you know, look to have less size, maybe only a couple contracts. But in general, we got the opening range breakout. We identified that already. So we know that we should be looking for short opportunities to the downside. So here from the 64s down the, to the 11s, I probably would have been short at that point. If we go to the one minute chart, you can see, you know, again, now I can probably have an even better stop here. So we got the break to the downside, the 63 level, and then we got that move down there to the 200. So a 60 point move in a matter of about 20 minutes here on this opening range breakdown. Now, not every day is gonna be as clean as this, but I wanna give you guys just an example of what we're looking at. We got the 15 minute opening range. We've already established that. You guys already understand that. So now we're looking for shorts down below this level. We're looking to be shorting down below 
that area. We've already identified that. We know that we shouldn't be getting long down here. There's no reason to get long because we already broke that opening range. So it's telling us the market's giving up that support there and it's moving to the downside. And what's interesting here is if you look, look at that low right there on that candle, that was at 941. So at 945, that 15 minute candle closed right here at the 86s and then pushed up there to the 303s. So it's kind of interesting because it's almost keeping you out of this area because you know that the opening range is here to here. So I don't want to trade inside of here because I know that first 15 minute candle is showing me that opening range, right? Like I don't need to do anything inside of that 15 minute candle. So I'm going to avoid possibly maybe buying here for this thing. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to push higher. Let's like, oh, I'm going to get hit long here because I think it's going to go up. Well, there's no reason to get long right here. There's just no reason to get long because we know that we haven't broken out of that first 15 minute candle range, right? It's telling us there's nothing to do here until we break this range on that first 15 minute candle. So I'm going to avoid taking a long right here, trying to get this move up because I know that we haven't broken out of the opening range, right? It's that simple. Like I am going to avoid taking a loss because again, we have identified the opening range, that first 15 minute candle. We haven't got a move out of there. That second 15 minute candle is still inside of this opening range. So all this price action right here, I'm just staying out of it. There's nothing to do. I'm just waiting and I'm watching. And what's interesting is if you take away all this stuff, we got kind of a double bottom right here, but we knew, remember, we know that opening range is still holding kind of in this area. So once we finally get the break to the downside here, then we're getting that short down. And this thing really kind of played out and I think it was a massive move down that day. So, you know, we could have really just rode that bad boy on down there. And look at that. I mean, I could have basically got short here, put my stop there, kept riding it lower, put my stop here on this higher low and just kept going with this thing as you go down. Now, obviously it's, you know, in hindsight, but again, this is all to focus on that opening range. If we put our indicators back on there, let's put our indicators back and we can see again, we had that pivot point right there. We had a pivot point to the upside, but that opening range kind of gave us a really good idea of where this market was going this day accordingly. So here's another great example. This is the 930 15 minute candle. And what do we got? We're looking for that high and that low right there. That's our opening range. This next candle at 945 basically opens up inside of this range. It doesn't move outside of this. It stays inside of this range, right? So this next candle here, this is the 10 AM candle. We finally get the break to the upside. Opening range, 15 minute candle, the market opens, it pushes up there, it pulls back. I'm just waiting. I don't need to trade this. I don't need to do anything crazy. I just need to sit back, wait and watch to see what happens with that first 15 minute candle opening range. It's that simple. Like you don't need to overcomplicate this. People love to overcomplicate this. They love to like, you know, maybe try to short and then get long and try to short all in that first 30 minutes. And they're like, just going to blow up their account and they're going to end up losing money. They're going to be basically chasing the price action. But this opening range breakout strategy gives you a very clear idea of what you should be looking for in terms of either a long or a short. So remember, we have our opening range, that 15 minute candle. We have the low, we have the high. So all we're doing is waiting to see the breakout either to the upside or to the downside. So now I'm looking to get long here when we break above that opening range candle, which would be right here at the 46s. And look at this move all the way up there to the 89s. That's 40 points on that move right there alone. That's 40 points on that move. I don't need to try to short right here. Like there's no reason to short right here. That's for sure. If anything, this is going to save me a lot of agony and a lot of pain, not trying to fight this, fight this opening range breakout, right? Like I told you guys, it's a very simple idea. Like this is not rocket science. This is not me like recreating a strategy here, but I think that people that might be new to trading haven't really understood this. That first 15 minute candle, gives you a very clear idea of where the market is going to go in terms of a breakout or a breakdown. What's interesting here, this is actually a really good example. If you look here, that first 15 minute candle, right? Look at that first 15 minute candle. The low is right there. We open up, we dip down there to the 13,053s and then guess what? Look at the high. Look where we ended up at here. What are we looking for? Same idea. This next 
15 minute candle opens up and guess what? The high on that candle is 34. The next high on that next 15 minute candle is 32. So we didn't break out of the opening range. I'm avoiding buying like a breakout, trying to anticipate a breakout here because number one, well, we haven't gotten the breakout. We haven't broken above that 15 minute candle high. We haven't broken out of the opening range. And guess what? Look, we go chop, 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 and then we finally break the downside through the 50s here. So now we're looking for shorts. Now we're looking for shorts. We've broken below the 15 minute candle open or close, whatever you want to call it. We broke the bottom range there. And look at this move from the 54s all the way down here to the 60s. What is this doing? It's helping me, it's helping me avoid the chop. It's helping me avoid that first 15 minute candle range because it's establishing a very key level. That first 15 minute candle, it's showing me where the price action is. Is the market gonna move up from here or is it gonna move down? Obviously, we're looking at other things, different levels, different ideas and things like that from pre-market. But in general, all I'm doing is looking at that first 15 minute candle, right? We're not getting long because we haven't broken out and we're not doing anything short until we break the downside. 80 point move right there alone. So if you got short right here for this breakdown, well, there's your move. I mean, you get 20, 30 points a day, you go home rich. I mean, if you get 20 or 30 points every day, obviously there's gonna be losers, but if you can just get lock in your 20, 30, 40 points a day on the NASDAQ and then walk away risking 10 points, I mean, come on. Like, like, come on, right? This move goes down and look what's funny is we actually pushed back up to this opening range area before pulling back again, right? Like we dropped from here, the opening range area. Let's say you're gonna get short here again. Look, we dropped all the way down there to the 820s by the end of the day. So this is like giving you a very key level. I'm shorting down here and I'm long up here. We never got anywhere near the high of that 15 minute candle again. So what am I doing all day? I'm looking for those shorts. I'm just being patient, waiting for my setups. But this is telling me like, hey, there's nothing to do until we break out of that first 15 minute candle opening range. The first 15 minute candle opening range is gonna work on stocks. It's gonna work on the SPY, the ETF. It's gonna work on futures. This is gonna work on anything that you basically have a first 15 minute candle of the day. It's gonna give you your range and then give you an idea of when to get long, when to get short. The key here is just waiting to see. This strategy alone is gonna help you avoid a lot of the costly mistakes. I know a lot of people are very quick to jump in. That first 15 minute candle, they're like, I'm gonna get in, I'm going, I'm going. The market's open, they wanna get long, they wanna get short, but hey, what's the rush? The market is open till 4 p.m., right? Like that first 15 minute candle, it can just totally be a chop fest. You're gonna end up losing money, you're gonna end up going on tilt, you're gonna end up having a bad day because guess what? You rushed into the trade where if all you're doing is waiting for that first 15 minute candle opening range for the breakdown, the break up, I mean, it makes it that much simpler, that much easier. Remember, the thing here is we're trying to create a strategy that's avoiding having to overtrade. It's avoiding taking trades that we don't need to take. I think that's like the best way to think about it. If you're gonna take a trade, you should have a strategy that helps you avoid taking bad trades. You shouldn't have a strategy that's gonna make you jump into everything that moves. Just because the market's moving does not mean it's a good trade. Just because the market's going up or going down doesn't mean you should be long or you should be short. If we're still inside of that first 15 minute candle opening range, there's nothing to do there. It's that simple. And again, you know, when we have numbers coming out at 9.45 or 10 a.m., we're really kind of waiting for those numbers to be done. Even if we're like focused on like, oh, well, we're breaking out, we're breaking down in the open range. We can still wait, we can still be patient, wait for those numbers to come out and keep in mind when those numbers come out, are we still inside of that first 15 minute candle opening range? Or are we breaking the downside? Are we breaking the upside? Like, I, I just don't know how much simpler it can really be. And I know like people are gonna call me like, yeah, it's easy in hindsight, but really all you're doing is waiting for that first 15 minute candle to close. Once it closes, you then have your levels that you're either looking for longs or you're looking for shorts. And like I showed you before, that opening range a lot of times will turn into resistance or support based on the price action. So it's giving you a very clear idea of where the price is heading. It's helping you avoid taking trades in that first 15 minute candle. I'm telling you, like if you're a new day trader, this is a great strategy to avoid 
a lot of the hassle that comes with that first 15 minute candles. There's a lot of traders out there that will literally just wait for that first 30 minutes, first 45 minutes, let the market decide what it wants to do and then take a trade. You know, if you're getting chopped up in that first 15 minute candle, there's no reason to keep doing that. There's no reason to keep doing this over and over every day. You're like, man, every time the market opens, I lose money. I keep jumping into a trade right away. Well, here you go. Here's a strategy that's gonna help you avoid that problem. It's gonna help you avoid those losses because now you're forcing yourself to be like, okay, that first 15 minute candle, has it opened? Has it closed? What's the deal? Have we broke down? Have we broke up? All I gotta do is just wait. 15 minutes goes by, okay, hey, cool. The candle closed, I draw my lines, I look for the opportunity to either go short, to go long, I just be patient, I wait. I know a lot of traders out there, they're just like so quick to jump in and that's the reason a lot of people end up losing money in that first 15 minutes or that first 30 minutes because they're inside of that opening range. I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you've never noticed it, if you go and you look, you're like, wow, Patrick's right. That first 15 minute candle, I could have just saved myself so much trouble and so much pain, so much agony if I would have just identified those levels. The opening range, baby. Simple strategy to apply to your day trading today.